so okay uncommon thing all right so we're following a vehicle right underneath the cardo thing i know it's it's right there trust me on my screen it's like blurred out pretty much we have this uncommon thing in a common situation, which is going to be that vehicle. Uncommon thing in a common situation, we can't see that vehicle, or we see that vehicle, it's off on the side, it's on the shoulder, it has an indicator. So this is that situation where they should see us. Once again, you guys need to stop thinking that these people see us and that they're going to stay where they're supposed to stay. You just can't. The default is they're never going to see us. And that's what everyone says, like Taiba. It's always, always say, ride like you're invisible, but nobody acts like that. It's not about, well, they're going to not see us and then kill us, and now we have this fight. We're, we're armies versus army. No, it's not the case. It's like they're not going to, they don't see us, right? Like you're invisible, meaning you need to take every single action, every single default thing that would happen if you're in a car. It needs to be thrown out the window, and you need to ride like nobody can see you. And that means you need to take all that responsibility on, your, on yourself, all that safety responsibility. You can't just be like, well, I'm in a car, so they typically see me. Well, now when I'm on a motorcycle, I'm invisible, so they should see me, but they don't. So if they don't, I'm going to hit a mirror. That's not, that's not how it works. It means they, they don't see you. They're going to pull out in front of you. So if they pull out in front of you, what are you going to do? And that's where you're supposed to have all, and I mean all the training possible that you can possibly muster and get free or otherwise, and make sure you are staying safe. So this person now, let's go ahead and do that. This person now comes into our lane and you can already see the rider starting to swerve a little bit. So in this situation, what do we do? You see this person already doing that unless they're turning left. You can get into this lane if you had to because the main thing here is this person wants to get in this lane. If they really want to get into this lane too, uh, we're in a bad spot. Lepetus, we're in a bad spot, aren't we? Uh, so we're in a bad spot. So the one thing that we can do is, is hopefully decelerate. We can swerve, but this is one of those scary situations where there's not much we can do. So make sure you're wearing full gear, full gear, just in case you do crash. Your situational awareness is hopefully going to prevent these situations. Your fundamental skills is hopefully going to prevent these situations. If you get in a crash, the gear you have is hopefully going to mitigate injuries. If you are in a group ride, or if you're by yourself, you know how to rescue yourself just in case you start having a tearful bleed or having a problem with your leg and it's bleeding out, going crazy. You know what to do with the trauma kit and medical training. So now you have an extra safety step. The smart rider principles are going to be a layer of safety and safety and safety. Once we get to acquiring, utilizing personal protective equipment and rescuing other riders, we already crashed. So let's make it less severe. And then the rescuing is let's make sure we don't die. And the teaching and mentoring is mainly to reinforce the skills that we've hopefully been training because you can't teach somebody something you don't know. So great swerve, got himself out of the position. Perfect. Now decelerate, decelerate and get back here, but not obviously this close, but decelerate so that you're, you're back into your lane with a massive space cushion. Don't push them back out because now, now they're going to do that to somebody else. Let them in. 